there! Uh, my name is Ms. Red Nebula and I wanted to do a quick go over of the new Classics Rides collection and the 1.11 1.11 update that they did for Planet Coaster. And the first thing that I noticed was I got in game and there's my little avatar as she always is. But apparently I'm now a featured creator! This is fantastic! I, I wasn't expecting that, I didn't actually approach Frontier about this or anything, um, but I'm very honored and thank you guys so much, it, it means a huge amount. So, with that out of the way and, and me hopefully being done bouncing, because uh, there was a lot of bouncing, uh, let's, let's jump into the DLC, shall we, and, and the freebie update. Well, first off, Planet Coaster got together with Carowinds and made one of their coasters in-game. This is part of the free 1.11 update, and we got Copperhead Strike. Of course, this is a coaster you can build yourself, or they've also got a blueprint in there for, for a version of the ride that resembles the one there at Carowinds. This actually highlights something that is also part of the free update that is incredibly cool. Let's go ahead and start this off. And first I'll say, too, that the music that's added here uh, was called Planet Bluegrass, and it's a brand new free music track. I really love the music in Planet Coaster, so any new piece of music we get is I'm, I'm going to be over the moon about. Here we are on an LSM stopped for a configurable amount of time before the launch. Now, my first thought here is that Tommy T is going to have so much fun with this new feature. It's That was a surprise that they put that in, and I didn't expect it. I don't think any of us expected it, and it was really, really cool. So now we can't... Now not only can we pause in the tracked rides, but we can also pause on LSM launch roller coasters. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> There's the planet coaster theme. Knew it had to be in there somewhere. And while I'm on the subject of free stuff that got added with the 1.11 update, they also added the ability to change the color of, or remove completely, the lighting on any of the ride vehicles that had it. So that includes like this track ride, one of the new ones, the, the new car that they added, um, I believe the trains, uh, the roller coasters that have lighting on them, like the swinging mine cars. So take a look at this. So if you want it to be like super creepy red lights going around or just turn it to black and now, now the car doesn't have any lights on it at all. Now as far as the new rides that got added for the Classic Ride Collection, and there's some really good stuff in here. Like a few people, I was kind of hoping for a DLC that had a hybrid of some rides and some scenery pieces again. As a huge proponent, obviously, of the Theme Maker's Toolkit, you'd think, oh wow, we don't, we don't need any more scenery DLCs from Frontier, but I really, really like seeing new stuff from them, and I hope that this isn't the last time that we're going to see new stuff from them. Uh, the only things that got added with this pack was actually the the signage and some pieces for Copperhead Strike. And I mean, look how beautiful this is. This is just like frontier quality, gorgeous stuff. I will absolutely keep making stuff for the TMT, but come on, Frontier, we need more stuff from you. It's so gorgeous. So the first of the new rides is a spinning coaster called the Interdimensional. This is one of the types of spinning coasters where all there's multiple ride vehicles all linked to each other. So this is something brand new that we haven't gotten to have before. And this is the blueprint that was included along with it. So this one's kind of fun. Let's give it a shot. Does anybody else just love lift hills? Oh, here we go. 
I'm gonna pull my best Tim Tracker here. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Ah, this is fun. Spinning coasters are fun, but this is just a, a brand new type of experience with the spinning coaster, and I like this one a lot. There's a lot of rides like this that are out there, so it was definitely something that, that we needed in the, in the game. Well, the next coaster that got added is they're calling the Typhoon Infinite, which I think we all know exactly what this one is. It's a Gerstlauer Infinity that I know a lot of people have been really hyped to get put into the game. This is things like Smiler from Mountain Towers. This thing's got these gorgeous big vertical lift hills with greater than 90 degree drops. You've got chain lifts. You've got launches. This is a really versatile coaster and it's going to be a lot of fun to work with even for people who aren't coaster enthusiasts. Like, I'm not the best coaster builder in the world, but I do love playing around with these things and seeing what I can do with them. We've also got this gorgeous new boat ride. This is pretty much your Pirates of the Caribbean. Your It's a Small World style rides. Um, you've got a track underneath it, and they also provided a blueprint with this one, and look at them working that day-night cycle. I love it. Obviously, they knew as well as we knew that this was going to be a Pirates of the Caribbean thing, so the, the blueprint that they put out was very pirate-themed, very familiar, and really well done, really nicely done. Ooh, and spooky. We'll also mention... <clears throat> excuse me, I will also mention that there were a few other things that they put in, like there was additional music, there were some additional kind of sound effects, mainly pirate-related sound effects, and some ambient sounds that came in with this pack as well. Once again, I really like when new music is added, new sound effects are added, so this pack eh, had a few nice little surprises. I wasn't expecting there to be ambient stuff or any of the uh, new sound effects or anything like that. Usually we'll get some music with new rides and that's all well and good. We did get like, I think maybe 10 tracks. There were several new music tracks in this one. That is a nice little blueprint. There was a lot of work went into this. This is the kind of stuff you'd usually see featured on YouTube. So, hey, great job Frontier. Whoever did this, hats off. I kind of figured this was going to be a thing, but I'm also really glad that it's a thing. We got our gondolas for the the chairlift that they released in the Magnificent Rides collection. There was a lot of talk afterwards that we wanted to have gondola style lifts that are very, very common in theme parks. Now, these aren't the old school style like you see at the Disney parks, but they are really, really nicely done. And if you listen, there's another music track attached to these guys. Very nice atmospheric type music track. These are just beautifully done. Very, like, if you look, let me see if I can catch the light on the glass. And you can see, like, it looks like people have just been sticking their hands all over the glass. I just, just <laughs> these details. I love the details. It's all about the details with Frontier. And of course, just like the other style of chairlift, you can do turns mid-track. And there we go. And we've got the lovely Sky Temple, which... This is the, this is the pagode, right? From Efteling. That's the only place that I, that I know of that has that kind of theming, and... Oh, I didn't notice that, that you actually have the right operator is inside of it, not down on the ground. That's really cool. Like, we, didn't add, we don't get to have right operators that actually get to take the ride with people very often. Once again, you can hear nice, nice new music track for this one. You've got some seating there back at the back, and the <laughs> even the crash test dummies are bouncing around like they're excited to see the view. This one's really beautiful. I'm 
kind of surprised this was not the ride that had two different versions. I was expecting that we'd probably see like the heavily themed pagode style one and then one that's a little more like, oh, I can't remember where it is, but there is a park, I believe in Italy, that also has one of these that doesn't have the theming on it, or rather it, it kind of looks a bit like maybe a flying saucer in a way, but it, it's generic enough that you wouldn't look at it and, and immediately think, oh yeah, that's themed to this, that, or the other. I want to ride one of these in real life. Like, Planet Coaster, yeah, great, I'll ride one in Planet Coaster, but I really want to see this in, in reality, like, get up nice and high like that and just be able to take in the entire park from such a great view. And observation towers are really cool, but this is just such a unique style of observation tower. Next up is the Free Flyer. This is definitely the kind of thing, once again, you're looking at things that look like they belong more in, like, in a state fair style of ride. This looks like so much fun. Got a nice angle to it. That's I'm about a 45 degree angle that that's going at, and, and you've got all of the nice physics of the car vehicles swinging out as they go around. Once again, beautiful job, and this is Definitely not like anything that we've got in the game right now, so a great ride for people that really do enjoy those kind of classic rides. Great lighting effects, all the works. Just the sort of thing that we've, we've come to expect from the kind of DLCs that they do for Planet Coaster. And then we've got a pair of towers. This was actually the one where you had the two different rides that were... They said it, it was one ride with two variations on it, so you've got the Golden Eagle and the Rising Raptor. The difference being that Golden Eagle has these sort of outward-facing chairs like this, and then some of these style. And this one just has the, the bird style carriages in it. One thing that really blew my mind, because I never thought with this was going to be something that we were going to get in-game, is... You can change the height. Look at that! It's not crazy extreme. You can go a bit shorter, you can go a bit bit taller like that, but you can change the height. This is fantastic. Unfortunately, we don't have this for any of the existing tower rides that were in-game before. I'm sure that there's probably some problems with like, like they'd probably have to retool the entire ride to get it to function with this new system, but but I'm really crossing my fingers that maybe someday we're gonna get this this uh, feature for some of the older older towers that are in game because oh, I mean, no pressure frontier, but come on, we need it. It would be so cool. And then we've got the Machina Classica. These are some beautiful old-style cars on this track, and you can get them going at a really nice clip. Listen to the squealing tire sound effect on that, and once again, got another new music track. A lot of fun. Can't change the speed while you're going, and so they're just like all of the, all of the other style of... Uh, tracked rides where you set a speed and then that's that's how fast you end up going for the duration of the ride. Nice clip on these. And last but not least is the Swift Drifters, which is a kind of, um, oh, what do they call them? A whip ride. Again, very beautiful classic looking style. Got some really nice looking physics and listen to this song. This is not just the greatest song going. This just reminds me of, like, old-school cartoons. Super fun. Alright, let's get on this thing. Woo! <laughs> oh yeah, this is a good ride. This is fun. Alright guys, so that's it for this one. Feel free to like, comment, or subscribe if you want to follow along, and check out my Patreon for sneak peeks and other perks, and a big thank you to my current patrons. That's all for now. Bye!